Hello everybody and welcome. I'm Ernie Johnson. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight we'll see the Washington Wizards playing against the Philadelphia 76ers. And now we'll send you out to Kevin Harlan and the crew in Philadelphia. Hello again everyone. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And we're ready to bring you the NBA on 2K Sports. We've got a chance now for our starting lineups from point guard to center. This game should be a good one. So for the Wizards in this matchup, they got to be feeling pretty good as they won that last outing against Philadelphia. And you know what was most impressive? They've wasted very few possessions in that game. They ran their offense close to perfection. That's what we call a mute button game in front of a hostile crowd. They never let the fans get into it. Had them on their hands the whole time. You know, the Sixers have really undergone a complete reversal in recent years from a team with a very old school traditional front office to a team that's now focused on the science and analytics of winning basketball and quite honestly guys we're seeing more and more teams embrace the uh, analytics side of things out of bounds Philadelphia takes possession and the 76ers with possession they're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. Well, Clark, they really shot terribly from downtown in that one and eventually paid the price for it. They sure did. I mean, sometimes you can make up for poor three-point shooting with a strong inside game, but theirs wasn't quite strong enough. And it's Carter missing. It's three on three on the fast break. Fast to Insani. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. So it's the Wizards now. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. Yeah, and they were really in a funk from the field. Guys, credit the defense, definitely, but you know, even when they got open looks, they were not hitting. Hey, Steve, me and you flub up words and misstate things on occasion. So do these players have bad nights. It happens. <laughs> Another miss by Philadelphia. Still scoreless after four attempts, trying to take the lid off the basket. Shoots from 14, and the shot falls short this time. Well, you have to get a hand into his face because that's his range right there. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. Washington making some changes. The waiters checked in for Carter, and it's Adams in for a train. Drive by Adams, and T is going to pick up a foul. That's his first foul. Well, Sixers head coach Brett Brown, a basketball lifer. His father was a respected high school coach. Actually coached him before he went on to start at point guard at Boston University under Rick Pitino. Johnson, he's checked in for Washington. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. And it's about time. I was wondering if they were ever going to knock a shot down. Lights out, checked in for the Wizards. Taylor comes in for the little general. And Brown was a pretty good player, athletic, fast, great hands. After college, he played professionally in Australia. And he ended up living there for 17 years. So between growing up in New England and his time down under, he developed an interesting accent. Some have called it Australian. <laughs> <laughs> I like his fire, too. Uh, yeah. He's a competitive, yeah. energetic guy. And here are the 76ers now. Following the three-pointer by Washington. Stolen. There's 45 seconds left to play in the first. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. The Wizards shooting their first free throw of the game. And you take a look at the statistics. This club is shooting 74% as a team. And, Kevin, it's something they've been working very hard to correct in the change. I mean, they know how important it is to fix that inability at the free throw line. Speedy's checked in for Miracle Man. Here's Adams. The pass to Big Cat. And he goes in for the dunk. This game's going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to Come see in a blowout, on. Kevin, or even an exhibition game, not a close game like this. Look how frustrated Steve is. Well, 
I just, man. you know what, oh, Kevin? Come on, Kevin. I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up there. I mean, he threw it down with force. Drive by Adams. All alone. And Washington again with the bucket. First quarter of play. We're about three minutes in. Left side, Taylor. Cans the shot from the wing. Taylor's got five. And a closely contested grit and crying first quarter comes to... And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And what stands out to you from Washington in this one? And I thought the defense was key here for this club. They really tightened up and made it difficult on their opponent. How about the help on the drives and rotations? I mean, they've really been in sync as a unit. Adams with it. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So on the floor for Philadelphia. T is out there with Speedy. Then there's Jackson. Then there's Lights Out. And it's Taylor in at the three spot. Here's Speedy following the three-pointer by Washington. It's stolen by Adams. Here we go, all alone. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, guys, Brett Brown overseeing a major rebuild project as head coach of the Sixers. He said, you can get tricked by potential, but ultimately it gets down to integrity, character, competitiveness, and toughness. When you cut to the chase, those qualities mean more to me. Those non-negotiables keep me on track. They ground me. Kevin, fascinating stuff. So much of building a team and a program is defining that culture and the expectations. Thanks, Doris. Johnson, the pass to the late. Big Daddy. And it's Speedy with the foul. That's his first foul. And a new group getting ready to come in for Washington. Jefferson's checked in for Johnson. Cowboy comes in for Big Cat. Mr. Fundamentals checked in for the waiter. And it's Carter in for Big Daddy. And that one's good. Mr. Fundamentals got his first two points of the night. And they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second quarter. Well, the lead being maintained will not be a problem if they keep shooting the way they have so far. Washington leading now by five. Here's the lob to the hoop. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Let's see how the 76ers have performed over the last few weeks. First in rebound. First in assist. And they're also number one getting into the passing lanes and coming up with steals. An aggressive team that ball hawks very effectively. And probably what impresses me the most, Clark, uh, out of all those stats you're talking about, is the rebounds per game. Because this is a team that has become very physical. Uh, they'll put a body on you. And don't really dominate the paint if you don't stand up to the task and really attack them back. Right back to the basics there, using the one-hand slam for that one. Doesn't he make the basics look pretty exceptional? Yeah, he does. They look sweet when he does them. Well, he should stay with those basics in a tight ball game because we've got one here tonight. Little General, the pass to insanity. Here's Little General. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Not really his range, and it's off target. The Wizards have gotten four of the first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. A three. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. Boy, you hate to see that fouling the three-point shooter. You know, there are a lot more free throws made than threes every season. I mean, make him earn it from deep. Don't foul. Miracle man. He's checked in for Philadelphia. And on his third shot, he finally gets it to fall. The 76ers trail by six. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Solid on the one hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, you got, you got that right, Kevin. He's such a reliable finisher. Here's Miracle Man. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. We've got 22 seconds left to play here in the half. Here's a train.
and the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Seven, six, and four. With one on the clock. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Wizards lead by four. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. And now, brought to you by Sprint. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And we welcome you back to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the city of brotherly love. Take a look at what the dude's done. He has eight points, and he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. Well, the defenders have that in the back of their minds now, too, so they're going to close out on him quicker. That should allow him to use the drive if he wants. Washington leading now by four. And on the floor for Randy Whitman as we get into the second half. They've got Mr. Fundamentals. A-Train is out there with the Prophet. And it's Cowboy. And it's Jefferson in a set. Can't get it to go. Philadelphia shooting 43% from the floor. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, Kevin, the Sixers going young, and Coach Brett Brown explained their philosophy, saying, we try to highlight athletes and length. At this stage, we're trying to grow a blue-collar, hard-nosed defensive program. We take those athletes, put them in a defensive system, and get them playing in the open court. That's the flavor of what we're trying to do. Kevin, back to you. Putting those young legs to use, Doris. Thanks. Here's Little General after the basket by Washington. Passes it to Miracle Man. Here's Little General, defended by Jefferson. That's a foul called on the Prophet. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. Steps back and fires. Speedy the pass to Insanity. Second shot opportunity. And he lays it up and in. The Insanity's got his first two points game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that they've been able to, to dominate. Yeah, they've chased down that pumpkin often. Big Cat, he's checked in for Cowboy. Knocked away. Here's Kennedy. Throws down the breakaway jam. The road back hasn't been an easy one, but they've managed to climb all the way out of the hole and tie this game. I have to say, pretty remarkable, Steve. At one point, I thought they were done. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. All right now, let's check out the standings in the Eastern Conference and see how the playoff race is shaping up. Taking a look at Washington. They've done well enough to be in fifth place in the conference so far. And, of course, there's the 76ers. Not in the same realm right now in terms of their record. Checking out Washington. They've certainly put themselves firmly in the playoff picture yet again. This is an impressive team that we're watching. Well, that's what it's all about, Clark, in the NBA. Just getting to the playoffs, giving yourself a chance to win a championship. And, you know, hey, once you get there, anything can happen. Here's what Washington's going with right now. Johnson, he's checked in for Jefferson. The waiters subbed in for Mr. Fundamentals. Pass to Nixon. On the wing, Jackson. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. And it's Washington's ball. 105 left to play in the third. There's the pass to the waiter. Feeds it to Adams. Hits it from three-point range. Adams has got seven points in the game. Kevin, he didn't hesitate that time. The D gave him a step, and he just pulled up and drained the three. And the Wizards making a change here. Time. 
inside. There's 45 seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's Big Cat from beyond the arc. No good. Here's Speedy. Off with the layup. Unfortunately, that's been the result for him over and over, guys. He just cannot find the bottom of the basket. Here's Adams. The Wizards with another miss. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. Good. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. He passes to Big Daddy. I see you, I see you. This one for three. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. It's the Wizards up by one. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And we're set to start the action up here in the fourth quarter. And if it's anything like the first three, we should be in for a treat. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Wizards. How about the three-point shooting we're seeing so far, guys? Amazing. You know, something else I've noticed is just how many of their baskets have been set up by assists throughout the game. The dude out there with lights out. Then there's Baller. And then it's Little General. And it's Insanity in at the five. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Up over 50% now from the floor with the way they've shot this half. Yeah, that's a nice improvement. It's not a surprise to see them out in front with the way they have shot um, throughout the entire game, as a matter of fact. They've been very efficient offensively. Here's Little General. Passes to Kennedy. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer. He'll head to the line. Taking three shots. That free throw, no good. Wizards making a switch here. Carter's checked in. That one is no good. And he misses all three. Washington trailing. Pass to Madison. Back to Carter. Nice ball movement by Washington. That's blocked. Kicks it to Taylor. Puts up a three. Rebound, Washington. Carter drives in. And here's the fast break. Now the pass to Insanity. Outside, Taylor. The shot is off. You know, when the shot's not there for you, you've just got to recognize it and move the ball on. Yeah, I think he had tunnel vision right there. His only thought was to shoot, no matter what else was going on. And that one's good. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. This is it to Miracle Man. Rebounded by the Wizards. Cowboys got three rebounds now in this one. And the Miracle Man is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. The Waiters check in for Washington. Here's the Waiter. Pass to Madison. Shot from the top of the key. The Waiter controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Wizards lead by two. That's purely a hustle play there. Getting to the offensive glass with a tip in, well done. And that's, you know, a quality you see any strong offensive rebounder possess. Uh, and we saw it right there. Yeah, it's the anticipation more than anything. It's understanding where that ball is going before anybody else on the floor does. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, you got the lead. Burn some clock here. Smart move. Yep. 
Here's Insanity. Nails it! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. And that is the shot of the game. Well, he's got the guts and courage to take it and the skill to make it. Washington calls timeout. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. He knocks down the clutch free throw. And he misses the second attempt. But one more coming up here. He cannot get the third one to drop, going just one of three. I'm sure they expected more from him on that trip to the line. It should definitely be more than a one-point lead right now. One second separating the shot clock and game time. Well, they did have a... foul to give, but they couldn't get it done before the shot attempt. Yeah, you really want to try to foul in that situation before he gets into the shooting motion. It just didn't work out that time. Can't knock it down, and they really needed that one. Well, despite tying things up, he's still shaking his head, knowing he could have given them the lead. Washington calls timeout. Here's Adams. Oh, couldn't sink the shot, and we're going to overtime. Regulation is ended, and we're heading to overtime. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. And what great competition we're seeing so far. After four quarters, a stalemate. And we'll see now how these two teams and these few minutes of basketball pan out. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. So on the floor for Washington. They've got Adams. Jefferson is out there with Big Cat. Then there's the waiter. And it's Big Daddy in at the two. Fantastic pass. He turned that one into a pretty easy basket for his teammate. And Big Daddy picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. For the Wizards, Cowboy comes in for Big Cat, and it's Carter in for Big Daddy. Here's Speedy. He passes to Kennedy. Shoots, and right on target. Good. That's how you get the crowd on its feet. Huge bucket. They've been waiting for that one, guys. The feed now to Carter. Here's Washington. Makes it off the glass. And the Wizards lead by three. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. An easy bucket in the lane. Yeah, the interior defense simply has been lifeless. It's rebounded by Jefferson. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics. Um, at least as I look at it. Here's a train. Fires the three, and that one's good. You know what, guys? He can really light it up from the perimeter at times. It's extra time here, just over a minute into overtime. And there's the pass to Speedy. Money! And now they trail by just four. 
He had his head on the swivel and was able to pick out the pass and get the assist. Wizard shooting in this game, 45%. Here's a train, and that's a foul called on Baller. That's his first foul. Here's a train. Dishes it to Carter. Cowboy. Six to shoot. Cannot hit. Great work getting in the shooter's face and then getting back to the boards to grab the rebound. Miracle man. He gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. You know, even from here, you could see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the officials. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. Mr. Fundamentals check in for the waiter. And no good on the second free throw. So he goes 0 for 2 there. And an intentional foul right there. Yeah, you can't let them pound the ball and just milk those precious seconds away. No other option here but to foul and hope for a few misses at the line. That's good. Going 1 of 2 from the line. And that puts them up by 5. Timeout called the 76ers. They're trailing by five. There's 18 seconds left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. Guys, your thoughts? And obviously time is the big factor here, guys. They need to get points fast and then go for the steal, and if not, a quick foul. Hard as it is, you just have to hope the guy you send to the line doesn't convert. Tries a three off the inbound. Connects! And he has brought them to within two points. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Looked like he tightened up big time on his way to the line. He could have and really should have closed it out. Come on. Absolutely, Clark. No one in his airspace on that dunk. Yeah, but come on, Kevin. The defense can't let that happen. <laughs> I hope they haven't let it happen more. It's fun to watch that guy fly. <laughs> Just a gift. Two points they gave up. That's awful. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Just about two minutes in now to this overtime period. What a game. Tamp. It's off. Rugged play under the boards. It's not a place for the weak of heart. You've got to go in there physically and aggressively. Another tie, and we're going to have a second overtime. We've got more in store for you right after this. And with another overtime period here, we've got more terrific basketball coming your way right now. And here are the 76ers now. T the pass to Insanity. To take the lead. Shot is off. The Wizard shooting 43% from the field. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Little General's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass to Speedy, and it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. Oh, that certainly could be costly. In a close one, those kinds of mistakes can really give the other team momentum. Washington making some changes. Carter, he's checked in for Big Daddy, and it's A-Train in for Adams. Here's A-Train, and it's Carter penetrating. Here's Washington. And it's out of bounds to the Wizards as Washington retains possession. On Baller. That's his third foul. That guys. Here's a train. Pass to Mr. Fundamentals. Lots 
leaves the room. Good! And that shot sucked the life out of the whole building. Well, that was a big one, Clark. You can hear it. Yeah, that was a gut punch right there. These fans, oh, man, they're struggling. Here's insanity. Kennedy sinks it. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Here's a train. Hooked away. And now the 76ers on the break. Here's Kennedy. It's in! Here's a train. Overtime has become do or die time. An empty possession here. I think they're finished. And that's a foul called on Baller. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And the pass to Madison. No good with the triple. A clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. And so they choose to intentionally foul. And that's an intentional foul. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And he ends up missing both free throws. The Wizards shooting 39% from the floor. At their best. Here's Carter. Oh, missed it. Here's Miracle Man. Passes it to Insanity. Money! And yeah, with that basket, you'd have to think this lead is safe. Well, if not 100% safe, certainly 95%. Washington calls timeout. They're behind by four. Six seconds left to play in the second overtime period. Could not get a winner with just one. Here is Carter. He passes to Washington. And it's blocked. So it's the 76ers taking the win in a close game. Clark, a double overtime game can really take its toll on the players. And after this one, the officials, the fans, everyone's going to have to take a, uh, a meet and rest. Yeah, exactly. But I tell you what, they showed me the heart of a champion here in this one. Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan player of the game, Ball. I didn't get a message.